Here we go. Hey, let's Here rock go. and roll. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is March 10th, 2021, and you know what that means. What's that mean? It means it's the 10th of the month, and what happens? The numbers come out on the 10th of the month, so we have our numbers. We even have our board all filled out for you guys for today on the current Ventura County real estate numbers. I'm Lisa. I'm Gary, and our top story today is the statistics for February 2021. That's right, and boy, what a ride it's been. We've been all anxiously awaiting for the all the year-end numbers to come out from last year, um, and they have finally come out uh, for the year-end across many of the platforms that we follow. And then today's numbers, I have gathered many, many sources here and boiled it down to what I think are the top things for you to hear about today. So you want to start with the Ventura County numbers, and I picked a few of the highlights here. I'm going to pull up our board already. Our visual aid. The board's already in it, huh? Uh huh. Okay, we do have the board with us today. If you are watching us live, then already go ahead it. and oop. Hold on, let me turn my tech down here. Go ahead and comment. We love when you guys are here and ask your questions uh, online here. Well, <laughs> I'm behind the board here. That's right here. I got it. I got it. No problem. Okay, that's another reason why I have it written down here too. So hold on, let me pull up my a little bit here. There we have okay. the board. Here we have it. So I know that's hard for you guys to read on the screen, so I am going to go through it here real quick. These are Ventura County numbers. So I'm going to read here. It says uh, Ventura, excuse me, February of 2020 versus February of 2021. We have here new listings. And uh, in February of 20, 730. February of 21, 585. To went down almost 19%, 18.49%. So that's what you're feeling, some of the squeeze here in the marketplace and the prices going up has to do with the inventory going down. <laughs> so the median sales price. The median sales price. So the median, this month I put the median, median and the average on here just to show you the difference. So quick explanation, the median is half the property sold higher than that. Half the property sold lower than that, so it's right in the in the middle. And then average, of course, is average or mean. It's the same thing. So median sale price February of twenty in Ventura County six hundred fifty thousand in February of twenty one seven hundred and seventy thousand up eighteen point five five percent. That's a big increase. Wow. Year over year. Now, last month, if you remember right. From January of 20 to January of 21, it was up almost 22%. So it looks like it's tapering a little bit, a little bit. And this is still pre-March when we had the shutdown in March of 2020. So we're still there, but we're going to pull in the pre-COVID numbers next month. I know next month in April should be interesting. <laughs> so the average sold price for is goes from 852 to 981, again up 15.5%. And then I also did median days on market, went from 48 down to 24 last month, and average days on market from 67 days in 2020 down to 35 days here in 2021. Uh, but still, that feels like that's long. Well, I, I think it would be very difficult to get less than 35 days just based on the fact that you know you have to get loans, you have to get approval, you have to get appraisals, you have to get home inspections, you have to get a lot of stuff. Yeah, one of the numbers that I saw on the California statistics said it was 11 days. So I don't know exactly how they were counting that, but um, that's what it was for one of the statewide statistics. Uh, so then the total volume, which I thought was interesting and sold, uh, total volume sold sales, 395 million uh, last year to 495 million in 2021, up 26%. That's a hundred million dollars more um, in gross sales. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot. And I thought I'd go into, um, I picked a few cities here, Ventura County. I'm going to tip a little bit. So, <laughs> so the uh, Oxnard <laughs> went from 617 to 777,000. That's up 24%. And this is February to February. Ventura from 638,000 to 820,000, up 29%. Camarillo, 631,000 to 794,000 this year, up 26%. Uh, 
and Ojai 1.145 million to 1.190 million. That's up 4%. And then Santa Barbara, which I added on here because the numbers 1.5 million to 2.3 million, up 43%. That's a big jump. That's a big jump. And I think some of that has to do with some very expensive properties. Um, I know a $45 million property closed last month and several of the super luxury properties have closed, which I think skews that number a little bit. Um, but still, that's a lot. Well, you got to think about it. Two and a half million dollar property is a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and no inventory. And they're getting gobbled up as fast as they come on. It leads right into my sales price to list price rate ratio again this month. It's over 100%. So the average is closed 100.8%, which means things are closing over the asking price to the point where the averages are even over 100. Well, and the national average is every property that's on the market is receiving in three offers. That's the average. And I would think that a lot of properties are receiving a lot more than three. Yes, we've heard some wild stories on how many offers things are getting. So it is quite a time to be in the real estate market, and it's a super time, especially if you're a seller. Um, our Berkshire Hathaway numbers, that's our Ventura County here, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, we have 50 offices from Santa Maria to the border down in San Diego. So if you have anyone thinking about moving in those areas, of course, we have the best network. We'd love to connect you to a top agent in your market. Um, the year to date, which is January and February and the first week of March, our numbers, our year to date li listings are down 13%. Um, in escrow is down 16%. And then our closed escrows is up 24%. So, uh, <laughs> is it, do those numbers add up? <laughs> I know. In any possible way? It means that the, that the inventory, I think, is just getting swallowed up. And also comparing year to year, Normally, you know, January and February aren't that busy of months necessarily for us, but they have been this year because the whole buying and selling market got pushed forward. That it did. So then the total California sales uh, were up overall in 2020, up 3.5%. More properties sold in 2020, um, even with the, the crazy year. Um, and then the active listings is the lowest level in 15 years, down 53.4% from January of 20 to January of 21. I mean, that tells you why the market is so crazy and why everyone is feeling that inventory squeeze, because these are the numbers to back it up. Okay, um, you threw with the board now? Uh, I am. You are? Okay. I am. The board, board down. <laughs> the board is kind of like a white deal. So 30% of the sellers left the state of California last year, and 261,000 people, um, not necessarily home owners, but just the, um, the population of California left last year, and in 120 years that they've been keeping those statistics, that's the first time there was a decline in 120 years. So I thought that was kind of amazing. Why? Wow. wonder why that was. <laughs> Yeah, you try if you try to get a U-Haul truck in California, you'll uh, you'll understand these these numbers. So another question that we've been getting quite a bit of is, you know, people are like, oh, this can't go on. There's a bubble. There's going to be a crash and things like that. And the numbers just don't support that. They don't. No. So <laughs> it, <laughs> from what we've seen on forbearance number specifically is so people are like, oh, there's going to be all these REOs and all these bank owned properties coming on the market. Well, there's not. Only 15% of people that have went into forbearance last year when the COVID crisis really hit and people started losing their jobs, only 15% of those are actually still in trouble. All the rest of them have come either current or worked out a payment plan. Um, and in the January final nut numbers, only 1% of the properties nationwide or distressed sales, 1%. So that's not very many. That's not very many. And half the homes are what they call equity rich. I think it's over half. Mm -hmm. Where they have 50% or more equity in their home. So that is a huge number. Right, and that's another reason why the forbearance and the short sale foreclosure situation is not going to be what it was, you know, 12 years ago because we um, have so much equity in the market. People have, you know, they're positive in their home. So even if they need to sell it, 
they're going to, in most cases, walk away with money. Correct. And the refinances that are happening right now, they're really not a lot of cash out refinances. People are refinancing the equity that they have and just transferring the balance here to the balance at a lower interest rate. Yeah, here's a quote that um, from the chief economist at First American, Mark Fleming, says, Nationally, home buying power continues to exceed the median sale price, and that implies housing is not overvalued today. So they think that 20% more properties would have sold in January and February if they were on the market, that they would have sold, but the inventory is just not there. Uh, mortgage applications, it's the 41st consecutive week of growth for mortgage applications. So that explains the supply and demand. It does. It's hot out there. <laughs> well, a lot of demand for money. <laughs> <laughs> that was our top story today, the numbers for February 2021. If you want these in detail, we have a really nice uh, formal report of these. If you'd li like them, go ahead and drop us a DM or send us a text and I'd be happy to send you the report on these nut these numbers because sometimes we whip through them a little quickly uh, but we'd love to send you that report if you have any qu questions at all about real estate buying or selling or investing in real estate we love to talk about real estate you can always visit us GaryLisa.com your real estate edge thanks guys okay, that's a wrap <laughs>